Hello YouTube, Small Stack Bully in here, coming, out back, coming back at you with another small little video today. And I'm going to be discussing what am I going to do after I finish stacking Britannias. Um, so, the question you may be asking, right? Why am I finishing stacking Britannias? Well, I'm not currently, I'm not yet. On my limited budget as a 16 year old, I am going to, I will be concluding for the time being stacking Britannias um, because, partially because I want to move on to something a little bit different, a little bit of a different flavour of silver, you know how it is, and two, because of the awful milk spotting issue the Royal Mint has around, as you, I mean you can just see there, that is completely dreadful, and even on uh, one of the newer coins, look, is it 2024? It has got it has got better, but look, there's a bit there, a bit there. It, it hasn't improved like some other mints. So that's the other kind of sort of reason. And I'm not going to finish stacking quite just yet. Because I want to fill up a tube of sil one ounce silver Britannias. Okay, I've got here very nice uh, oriental water. I, need, I want to buy more of these my local coin shop does them for really cheaply like stupidly cheaply um, for what they are so I think I'm gonna what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fill up a 25 coin tube so I've already got five here 20 more coins to go and I tend to buy one every month or so one or two every month um, so I'm gonna fill one of those up but the real decision that I have to make is what am I going what what coins am I gonna stack afterwards after I've finished stacking these because I love these I love the design it's just I want to have a little little something different it's just um, and of course the issues at the Royal Mint so I'm gonna put it to you guys you guys here behind not behind I'm behind the camera but you guys viewing my video. I'm going to put the decision, well it's obviously going to be up to a final decision, but I'm going to go with popular sense, census? By popular demand, that's it, of what coins I should stack. So I've printed off pictures of different coins here, and I'm going to go over a few. I'm going to go over all of them. Um, so the first, first coin that I'm considering to stack next time will be the Bosch the Canadian Maple Leaf. Now, I love the Canadian Maple Leaf, partially because um, of how cool the design looks. Looks. I mean, look at that. You've got the, um, what's it called? Stripes coming out from the center. The Maple Leaf looks brilliant. And I see these on YouTube all the time and I just, I, I just want to buy one, or at least one, or a tube full. And just have it, you know. It, it looks really blimmin' cool. Um, and another thing I've got, we got family history from Canada. Well, going to Canada, um, so it'd be quite an awesome little thing to have. So that's the first option for you. And what I'm going to do, because I'm not yet, um, what's the word? Not confirmed. Um, not yet allowed to do uh, the community tab on YouTube and polls. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, put it down in the comments what you want, because I will uh, put them, put it all in a spreadsheet, and I'll probably do it out on a little short, and I will tell you what I'm going to stack once I finish with Britannia. So next option will be, I mean, this pic, this photo is a little, a little smaller. Krugerrand. Now I like the Krugerrand, uh, South African. It's. I love the design. Um, I don't. I haven't really been looked into how easy they are to get here, but apparently, according to others, they're. My camera's gone. Ah, there we are. Apparently, according to others, they're very easy to stack and they're very easy to attain in the UK. So that'll be quite interesting to stack here. We're going for a little different flavour, 
brand new coin. Uh, I know it's kind of controversial, but it's the Britannia and Liberty one ounce silver. Um, I know it's quite controversial, this coin is, but I want to know your guys' opinions on this coin. Because I've seen it back, oh, who was it? Was it, uh, it was either 365 or Backyard Bully and make a video of that, and they didn't really like it very much. But I find the design, I think it was Backyard Bullying, I find the design quite, no, what's the word, entrancing? Something like that. I find it quite interesting, the design, and I kind of like it, but it's also slightly garish at the same time. So I'll let you lot decide. That's the next option. Um, what are we going to pick next? Right, here we are. A bit more abstract. Australian kookaburra. I like this design, I love how detailed it is, the, what was it, uh, the Australian mint doesn't have milk spotting issues, like uh, the raw mint does. What's going on with my camera, it's not auto-focusing, auto-focus please. Um, there we are, um, doesn't have horrible milk spotting issues like the raw mint does, but um, I think it's an excellent choice really. But I want you guys to decide what I'm putting this out to you, the viewers. Uh, carrying on from that, so from the what's it, Royal Australian Mint, I think it is. Uh, Australian Kangaroo, same sort of thing. A little, less of, a little bit less of a fan on the design. But still, nonetheless, a valid option. Uh, that one doesn't really need an introduction, really. Um, oh, everyone knows this, especially if you're from America. Silver Eagle, um, brilliant, uh, brilliant choice if you're in America. Um, from what I've seen, they are harder and the premiums are much higher uh, to get them in this country, which is, which I'm comsi comsar about, you know. Um, but it's all up to you. I know, so I know, I, ha I have some American viewers. They might really recommend this coin to me. I mean, it, it looks the part. It looks proper. But I don't know how obtainable it is in my circumstance. Um, we've got three choices left. This is a bit, a bit of a whistle stop tour. I think we're going to go for... Uh, oh, I dropped it. The Chinese Panda. I know I've seen these on the internet a lot and on bullion dealers websites but i think it's a really interesting coin really obscure um and i've seen that they go for pretty decent prices for what they are really obscure really interesting and uh, i love the design of them it's excellent but it's all up to you guys i want to know what you want me or what or what, actually, you can even just put what you stack in there and I will make a more informed decision, I suppose. Um, but I really love the design. It's got pandas. I love pandas. They're really cool animals. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, moe. We're going with this one. Uh, the Armenian Noah's Ark. Um, I think that's what they call them. I like this coin, it's got really ornate, lovely designs, doesn't have a horrible milk sporting issue like the Britannias have, and this one doesn't, this one's quite nice actually, um, but yeah, that's the penultimate option. I do love the design of that, that is really cool, but final option, the Austrian Philharmonics. So now, uh, is a that is everything that is what i want you guys to choose from it's a set list nothing more nothing less you choose or tell me what you stack in the description down not the description in the comments down below i love these this design because of how excellently the coins are minted the, i love the design of the instruments they are proper they are really really cool it is just a cool coin to have, and I think they're really they're quite obtainable in my circumstance. So yeah, 
I think that will round off today's video quite nicely as we're coming up to 10 minutes of the video. Drop a comment if you're still watching after 10 minutes. And if you do, I thank you so very much for keeping up the excellent support of my channel. Love you guys. Love you, 10 minute gang, if you if you want to call me called that. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll take away the rest. We'll just put that for now because I don't stack any of these quite yet. So there we are. That is today's video. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you join up Stacker Social. We are nearing 200 members or at 200 members by the time this video comes out. So get in quick. Get in quick for the giveaway. I'll put the linky in the description down below. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it, drop it a comment, drop it a like, and if you want to, subscribe. It's completely free, completely, free, completely optional, and you can change your mind later. No pressure, guys. Um, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.